Hello world and welcome to another episode of Ableton Gems, where we highlight some of the particularly useful devices and presets that Ableton has to offer. Now, no DAW is complete without a basic piano instrument. And for many years, that's exactly what the main piano device in Ableton was, basic. But with the arrival of Ableton Live 11, came a new, more nuanced <laughs> piano, created by arguably the most prestigious virtual instrument company in the world, Spitfire Audio. And it's called Upright Piano. So let's take a look at just why the Upright Piano device sounds so elegant, along with some useful tips on how to really get the most out of it. To demonstrate the Upright Piano, I'll be using one of these free MIDI files from this pretty piano pack by Kalem Audio. This video isn't sponsored by Kalem, but it's a great way of showing how you can find some real gems outside of the usual places for samples. And the MIDI files even include sustain pedal control, which, as we'll see, allows us to get the most out of the upright piano device. The first thing that sets the upright piano apart from a regular stock DAW piano is the way it's been sampled with multiple microphones. For a piano to sound rich and full, professionally mic'd pianos often use a technique called spaced stereo, so that the keys on one end of the piano occupy a different place in the stereo image from keys on the other end. And that's exactly what the engineers at Spitfire did in this case. Take a listen to how much more immersive the upright piano sounds compared to the basic grand piano playing the same melody. The next quality which sets this device apart is the way it's been sampled at different velocities. A piano played lightly doesn't just sound quieter, its tone and character are also different. To capture these qualities, the team at Spitfire recorded an upright piano at three different velocities. You can see this for yourself by expanding the device and looking at the sample zones. The result is a beautifully realistic piano sound. Listen to how different the melodies sound played at a low and high velocity. I'll match the volume levels for comparison. The way the upright piano captures the ambience of pedal and hammer noises also adds to its charm. At the end of a MIDI note, the sound of the key hammers releasing from the strings can be heard. And the volume of this can be adjusted. And any truly authentic piano piece isn't complete without the use of a sustain pedal, which releases dampers on the piano strings, allowing the notes to vibrate for longer. The upright piano device not only captures the sound of this mechanical action, but also switches to yet another set of piano samples to capture the subtle difference between notes played with and without this damper. For us to take advantage of this feature, the motion of the sustain pedal can be manually drawn into the MIDI clip, typically on the sustain pedal channel, 64. More seasoned piano players might use a MIDI pedal to control this channel. So let's put all these features into action. I've used the Upright Piano's built-in Intimate preset during the verse sections, with the velocity of notes turned down. And in the chorus, I've used the Bright preset with higher velocity MIDI notes to give contrast between the two sections and make the most out of this device. Having a native stock piano device as good as this built into Ableton is outstanding. 
and by making use of variations in velocity and sustain pedal controls, as well as the handy built-in presets, you can really make the most out of this device. And finally, if you'd like to keep on top of your production game with more Ableton Gems as soon as each video is released, please consider clicking the subscribe button below. Click.